And we will be remiss to leave this subject without talking about the other tree. And take, let now, lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. My, my, my. So right there, so Eve got sucked into this conversation with the subtle crafty serpent. Adam is standing there looking stupid, watching his wife get deceived. Why? Because probably he wanted to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil himself. They're talking to the serpent. She talks to the serpent, eats the fruit. He stands there, acts like he's an innocent bystander, goes along with it. But right next door, whoo, right next door was the tree of life. And if they had just eaten of the tree of life, they would have lived forever. They would have never died. Now, the powerful question, the powerful thought here that I have to give you before I close out this recording. Nowhere in scripture does it state that God ever told Adam or Eve that if they ate of the tree of life, they would live forever. All they were told, all Adam was told was, eat of every, you can eat of every fruit of the, every tree you want, just not the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now we could ask this question, why didn't God just tell them in the first place, hey look, while you're going around the garden, I would suggest you eat the tree of life, then you won't die. But he didn't say that. In theory, then, if Adam and Eve had eaten had eaten from the tree of life first, then they could have ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Then they could have lived forever.